Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Well, this week's Endangered Indiana series takes us to Henry County, where another block of Newcastle's pre-Civil War downtown square is in danger of demolition. Known as the Courthouse Annex, the now vacant building was constructed to match the city's historic courthouse that sits just across the street. Around Indiana, reporter Mary Rachel Redmond has more from Newcastle. In most cases, Newcastle is known for one thing. Go get him, Tiger. Hoosier hoops. From the world's largest high school gym Take a look to at hometown Mr. hero, in I'm Steve Alford. And of course, home to the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. What many don't realize, though, at the turn of the century, the city of Newcastle was a vibrant, economically thriving community thanks to the gas boom and also a center of manufacturing prowess, producing everything from cars to caskets. This building was built during a time when Newcastle was experiencing a real boom. We had the largest automobile factory in the world. Back in, in the 1900s, Newcastle was one of the fastest growing cities in the state of Indiana. But once the gas wells dried up and major industry made its exit, the city found itself on a downward spiral, the effects of which are still evident even today. We've lost an entire block of downtown buildings to demolition, so it's important to, to maintain what we have left. Historic preservation is economic development, and so having a building come back to life would mean a lot for our downtown. And with a great view. Now for a quick courthouse. tour. Now this is the third floor and. Correct. Wow, that looks like a lot a, of boxes. A lot of boxes. Of records. County records from going back 20 and 30 years at least. When did this become vacant? Yeah. Kind of over time? Over time, probably last five years it has not been used and it's been sitting empty and basically it's a, a big storage area for county government. This third floor is absolutely ginormous. In fact, as you can see, there's more records in what I think used to be an apartment. And as you walk through, you can see, and granted it is dirty, but this beautiful antique tile that would have been here when it was first built. There are so many little interesting, unique features in this building that are kind of a wink and a nod to that time. In fact, let's see, let's see what this is. Oh, huh. This building has a lot of potential, but as, I think as you can see, time's running out. I think we're at a point where we're wanting to have a decision made within the next few months. They've been sitting empty long enough now that it's we're wanting to pull the trigger on it as quick as we can to try to get somebody interested that wants it. Uh, we've talked about possibly even putting them up for auction. That building coming back to life means that Newcastle is coming back to life. I often think that the that the way your downtown looks indicates the health of your community. So if you have a bunch of vacant, empty buildings that are boarded up, perhaps the health of your community is low. Having a building alive again, I think would be reflective of where our community is because I feel that Newcastle and Henry County is alive again, alive and well. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.